Hey guys, this is Sims and Wins, and we are back with another episode of our Sims 2 Build the City Challenge. So, um, the next household we would have played were the Kramers. So that was Anna Kramer, the witch, the third household that we put in, but she's immortal because she's a witch. And her son, Brandon Kramer, would have been next. However, I did... Um, as I said in the previous episode, I said I would check out the college sims and see who was compatible with who and see if I can rush two sims through college or two or three sims through college to reduce the amount for the end of the cycle, the amount of college sims I have to play, as well as get some more bachelorettes into the neighborhood. So I decided on these two. She is my sim self son. My sim self son is going to be played at the end of the cycle, but he would have been by himself because she was still in college. So I decided since she's already paired off to rush her through college and get her with my sim self son, um, Anastasi here, at the end of the cycle and get them together. Now she, I figured out that she was compatible with Brandon Kramer. Where is he? She is very compatible with Brandon Kramer. We're gonna fix that relationship up soon. Um, as soon as I'm done rushing them through college and getting some money to furnish this place. So this place was, I built, I put up a really quick, really bad speed build of this place um, recently, but, They've been having to furnish it with their college earnings, things that they get from being on the bachelor list. So I'm just rushing this through. Like, um, they're doing their term papers and they're just, they're just going, oh, she's got to go to class. Will she make it? No, she didn't even make it. Okay. So, um, did that count as going to class? No. Um, so... I'm rushing them through college. She's they're they're already sophomores. They're doing their term papers, doing their assignments, going to class once, and then um doing their final exam. And with the money, I'm furnishing the apartment. I want to get them graduated fast so that they can go to their respective households because she is next, technically. She's gonna go live with Brandon so that they can get together and finally um he can have someone because he hasn't had someone forever and they're like immortal, right? Because they're like a witchy family so um he deserves someone and yeah so is that all I wanted to say that's all I wanted to say so I will let you know if anything interesting happens I'm just furnishing this place slowly but surely so I can get pictures of my speed for my speed build to add to the end of the video because I don't want it to just be the frame of the house like I would like to add some photos of it furnished um so yeah that's it I'll let you know if anything interesting happens all right so uh, my buddy here, Eloise, has finally graduated, so we are sending her back to Crystal Springs, and I'll move her in with my Simself son. So she's leaving. Bye. That was fast. I, like, got this all done in, like, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. All right, so the only person's left, she fell a little behind. She's still a junior because she didn't have as many skills as Eloise did, so I had to actually catch up on her skills and stuff like that. She's writing her term paper right now so that we can go into the second half of junior year. And since she's by herself, this should be much faster now. It should just be a much faster process. I'll get her out, and then we can go take her to the Kramers and then play through the Kramer family. So I'll do that now. <sighs> okay, people. Okay. I don't know what just happened. I'm sitting here playing the Kramer family like I said I would. I moved in Heather Kramer to marry Brandon Kramer and they had a kid named Wendy but she's apparently dead and I don't know where she died where did she die she just died apparently I just saw the baby's memory pop up but where <gasps> oh here she is why is she dead how did she die she wasn't starving she wasn't starving. I just had her eat. I mean, she was tired. Can you die from exhaustion? I don't know how this lady died, guys. How did this lady die? Okay, listen. I just had Anna Kramer clean the plate off the table. She had just eaten. Okay, she had just eaten. She was really tired. She went upstairs. I was sending her to bed, and she died. This little, this lady literally just died on me. Jesus Christ. 
Heather is dead. Man. Okay, so now one of the girls, one of the gold diggers' daughters is dead. Well, she only has one daughter. She has a set of twins. So one of her twins is dead for no reason. I I had major plans for this family. What I was going to do is because, you know, it's a witch family, right? And they live forever. And I decided to make it so that the females are the witches and the males are just males, right? And like, so they give birth to a daughter. So I was going to have Anna make Heather a witch, have Anna and Heather live forever. And then Wendy would also live forever. And like Wendy would eventually have a daughter and that daughter would live forever. And it would be like many generations living in the same house. But, like, she died before I could even make her a witch. And I'm pretty sure she was pregnant. <sighs> All right. Um, I thought, you know, it is what it is. She's dead. Let's move her grave to the, to the cemetery, I guess. I don't know. What can I say? She's dead. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I guess um, you're going to grow up with your dad and your grandma. I'm so sorry, little Wendy. That's so sad. I don't know why she died. I don't, that's what's killing me. I don't know why she was dead. You, this poor guy literally just got married and his wife died. I guess we can, how can we rationalize this in terms of a story? She joined the witch family. I don't want to say her mother-in-law didn't like her and killed her because Anna Kramer is a really nice lady. She's a good witch, so I, she wouldn't have killed her daughter-in-law. Um, like, how do I rationalize this? Like, maybe the energy in the house was too much for her. She couldn't stand the process of becoming a witch, and she died. I don't know. She died from complications to childbirth. I don't know. I don't know how she died, but she's dead. Did she have the flu? I didn't even, you know, I was fast forwarding. I had, I had, I had set them up to fix up their needs and I was fast forwarding and I didn't even notice that she died. I didn't notice anything. It was so fast. I was looking at the, I was looking right here. I was looking at the baby and I saw suddenly that the death memory came over her and was like, who died? And then I noticed she died. I don't know. Don't get me started. Anyway, I'm just finishing up the sim week. This That was really sudden and very unexpected. Um, but yeah, I'm finishing up the sim week. I guess this baby's going to grow up without a mommy. Very sad. And uh, yeah, so I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. All right, guys. So I am playing in the next household and we are playing the Owens household. And they are playing in this ungodly abomination of a house that I built. And I couldn't have built this too long ago. I must have built this relatively recently. But it's still really bad. Oh my god. Like, some, when you look... I can't believe I put speed builds of this up. Like, Sims 2 is limiting. Okay, there's only so much you could do in Sims 2. You can't make, like, these gorgeous stop-motion houses that a lot of these other YouTubers build. But I definitely could have done better on this um i'm hating it now i have to like renovate it or something but uh we are playing the owens family this is electra she is one of the twins that brooke Curtin and christopher Curtin had made he is the firstborn son of the original oakstead family she has a twin brother who just married the gold digger she ended up marrying michael owens and having a child named rachel and she's about to have another child Michael Owens is the child of Zachary Spitzig and Kaylin Spitzig. He has the sister Astrid and the half-sister Amelia. So I have some baby names in the comments. Let's see what they're going to have. Okay. There's a new family member. Is it a boy or girl? Let's see. Let's get my name ready. It's a boy. So um, T Addict on one of my videos had given me some boy names. Um, Henry, I feel like I had a Henry. Have I had a Henry in this game? Why do I feel like I've had a Henry? I'm not sure about that. Um, Charlie, Charlie works. Frank, I've never had. Rocky, Rocky. Well, he was, his dad was a sports athlete. Like, I wonder if we should go with Rocky, Rachel and Rocky. Right? Nice and unique. Rachel and Rocky. I think that works. They're both our names. So thank you, T-Addict, uh, as always, for your comments and for your baby names. Rocky. There you go. 
Okay, we've got a boy named Rocky now. Um, so I'm trying to have them work a little bit, get some money so that I can sit and rebuild this a little bit. I'm not going to like tear it down and rebuild it from scratch, but I think I'm going to renovate. I'm going to to, it, to make an attempt to renovate this. <sighs> I'm never going to be able to do it, but we'll see. All right, guys. So I have finished playing a sim week with this household and I even managed to renovate the house. So it's still obnoxiously big and it reminds me a little bit of the beach house I made not too long ago, but it's better than it was before. I can live with this. Oh, that wall needs to get fixed. Okay. But besides that, I can live with this. This is much better than it was before. Okay, so um, this is their new house. Um, she is pregnant with their third child, um, Electra here, and uh, Michael Owens has just been working. Michael Owens is his name, yeah. Rachel is now a child, and um, the toddler, Rocky, is a toddler. He's a little bit unfortunate looking. He doesn't really have much hair, and he looks a little bit like his dad. His dad kind of has like a scrunched up pointy face. Um, but the girl looks more like mom. The girl is much prettier. She has mom's features. Like when they unscrunch as they get older, she's going to be pretty just like mommy. Because if you take a look at mommy, mommy is definitely much a much prettier sim. So um, that's it for this household. Let me just show you the house, what it looks like. Um, so this is the downstairs. We have like an open kitchen. This needs to get washed. Two bathrooms and the living room and a garage. And upstairs, we've got the bedrooms, three bedrooms, and like balconies, and only one bathroom upstairs. So the floor plan's a little awkward, but that's okay. The house is much better than it was. I'm okay with this. So uh, let's go to the next household. All right, guys. So I have finished playing through the, um, what's his face family, the Richardson family. So another Richardson family. This Richardson family lives in the commercial district. Uh, it's like my city district. They live in this kind of apartment style house that is EA made. Okay. It needs a good updating. Like this floor is okay. Upstairs is like old. It's from when the kids were young. Um, I haven't really updated it in a while, but I'm too lazy right now. So I just did like a whole big renovation last household. So I'm just not in the mood. Um, so this is Raphael Richardson. Raphael Richardson was the son of the second son of the founding family. So he was the firstborn of the secondborn of the founding family. He married an NPC named Rebecca. They were pretty well off, kind of, not really like crazy well off, but they were okay. And they had two sons, Liam, who just went to college and who is actually living, I sent him to college and then I paired him off with um, Talia Cook and I separated them from the rest of the household children. I haven't played them because I'm waiting to see if I can find another couple that can live with them in their house, like their rented apartment house, and then play through them the same way I played through that last college couple, that last, that last college pair I did separately from the other college kids. But I'm waiting to find another couple before I play him. But he's paired off with Talia Cook already. And they have this other son named Gregory, who's still young, who's still living at home with him. Next time we play this household, he will go to college. That's basically it. Um, their cat died, and they got another cat. And the cat, as a, as a kitten, was red. So I named the cat Red, and then it turned black and white. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this household. I just played through the Sim Wake. Um, I have uh, the the. I need to turn shadows off. I just I just opened the game. I actually played this yesterday morning, and I was like way too crazy looking to record. So I'm popping in now to record this clip, and then I'm now going to go play. Who am I playing? Oh, the Kramer. Oh, Samuel Kramer, Jalissa Brown, and there are two kids, Lorraine and Ken. So let's go there. All right. So the next family is Samuel Kramer and what's her face? Jalissa Kramer. I like this couple. Jalissa has this like baby face. They're so like adorable and innocent looking. And Samuel is also have, has this like nerdy kind of innocent look. So I think they're just so cute. They have two kids, Lorraine, who's a little tragic looking. I think she will get fixed when her face unscrunches a bit um I kept her hairstyle um because you know she's like a mixed kid so you know um 
we want to be a little bit accurate. Um, I just think her face is scrunched. There's something about Sims 2. When they're kids and toddlers, they're like scrunched. The features are scrunched. And then as they get older, it like then they become more beautiful. So I think she will be quite, quite pretty. Uh, the son uh, looks a little bit more like his dad. Um, but he's okay too. He's about to grow up though. She's about to take him to the cake in her bathing suit. I don't know why she's wearing a bathing suit or underwear maybe. No, she was wearing underwear. She was woohooing her husband this morning. Uh, her husband's at work and they're too poor to like have a big birthday party. So we're just going to take him to the cake, get this done with. The kid is catching up on sleep because it's a snow day. She's not at school. So let's just grow this baby up with this cake. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Um, ugh, okay. All right. He's okay. He's okay. He's, his, his, the, the thing is the noses always look bigger when they're children because, you know, their face is kind of scrunched, but their mom does have like, you know, a nice big nose, but she's cute. So if our kids come out like her, she'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, what else here? So who are they? She is one of the 10 children of my best friend's family who I decided as a prank, as a joke, to make her have 10 kids. Um, she ended up marrying Samuel Kramer, who was the second son of Anna Kramer the Witch and her late husband, Billy Kramer, her first the, the husband that she had originally, his he, she was his first wife. And they have two kids. Um, this house is a house that I built. I have a speed build up on it. And this is the only house I think I've built in this whole neighborhood besides the older houses. Like the old houses, I think I did a good job building because they, they were small. They were poor. Didn't have a lot of money. And I made them a little old fashioned. So I think I make I do better when I build small houses. Like I try to make these big extravagant houses, and they just look end up looking like boxes. Like I can't build big houses for my life, but I can build a decent small house. Okay, this is small. It's your standard little house. It looks perfectly fine. I did a good job on it. it looks decent. It doesn't look like your EA like ugh, like cringe house. Okay, um, it's okay. It's just that they don't have a lot of money. He just got promoted. The husband just got promoted to mayor. So they they have some money, and I'm saving it. I was saving it so that when he turns into a child, I can make them this room, like a kids room here, that they can share because there's only two bedrooms in this house, and um, they're gonna have to share a room. All right. So this is what I decided to go with. I changed the wall slightly to be a little more to the white side. I added to match the furniture. The furniture. These are the kids' beds. This is the dresser. This is Monique's hacked computer with a desk and a little TV just to not that they're ever going to use it but uh yeah so this is the house so far it still needs a lot of work but um yeah nothing really is going to happen no one else is growing up this sim week they're just gonna go to work go to school save some money so um I'm going to end this clip here and I will see you in the next household which is ugh no the Tellermans are next. Uh, well, there's Jan Tellerman, Stella Kramer, Noah Kramer, and their two kids, Aaron and Artemis. I hate that household. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, guys. So we are here playing the uh, Tellerman family, but this is actually the Kramer family. The only Tellerman here is Jan Tellerman, and she's on her way out sooner or later. Um, so this is Noah Kramer. Noah, I believe, was the son of Billy Kramer and his second wife after his actual wife died. So she was one, he's one of those sons. Billy Kramer was the third household that was put in. So he's kind of um, important to the history of this neighborhood. And um, he ended up marrying a Sim that I made when I unlocked college. I sent her to college just as a random Sim. He ended up marrying Stella and they had two kids, Aaron and Artemis. So Aaron is a teenager. He's just going through the ropes. Um, I don't think he has a love interest at this point, no. But Artemis is about to finish up her homework and she's about to turn into a teenager. So let's just check her out real quick. Um, she should be growing up any time now. There we go. Oh, Noah came back from work. Okay, hold on. She's a teenager now. Okay, let me check her out. I think she's actually very unique looking she's got these tiny eyes um let's pick an aspiration for her correctly the way i usually do when i have my phone around siri pick a number between one through six three one two three okay so she's a knowledge sim she hates red hair she likes formal wear and fitness all right that's fine 
let's uh, see if we can fix her up. I think she could actually be very attractive. Um, she's got a very unique face. She's got these little eyes. Um, maybe a new hairstyle and a little makeup would really fix this up. Because I really do think that she could be quite attractive. Let's give her a chance here. Yeah, she's got a real... I don't think I've ever had a sim that looks like this. Um, her eyes are so adorable. I think I'm going to go with the straight hair. I think we should go with the braid. I think the braid looks really cute on her. So that's what we'll go for. And it'll show her jewelry off a little bit too. Yeah, she's really cute. I really like the sim. This is actually the first time I'm like really this um, excited about a sim. Um, so this family, I've mostly been playing with free will off, but I haven't been like off camera. Like usually when I play families on free will, I'm off cleaning somewhere and I just let them do what they want. But I've actually been like monitoring, um, but they've been on free will. I've, I don't really like this family that much. Maybe I'll like them more now that um, there's a really pretty sim. Aaron, Aaron, the boy, he's interesting looking too. He just needs like better eyebrows. I need to like give him better eyebrows when I when I feel like it. Oh, he just grew into an elder. Oh, okay, he's an elder now. I didn't even notice. Okay, um, I'm just waiting for Jan Tellerman to kick the bucket. Honestly, she's the kind of annoying in the house. Oh, you need to take care of your needs. Do I have another bathroom somewhere on this floor, or do I need to go upstairs? We need to go upstairs. Oh, the game. Oh, okay. Turning night to day kind of lagged the game for a second. Oh, this house. Okay, this house can be a little buggy sometimes. This house is a, pretty sure it was a non-custom content house that I downloaded and I had them buy it because they're pretty rich. Um, yeah, I, it's an okay house. I like it. But I, well, you know how I've said before, like when I don't build a house, when I haven't built the house, I feel kind of detached. And that's what kind of makes my family, like like some of the families, like families I don't want to play because I feel very detached. Like I don't feel attached to this family. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, so uh, that's, I don't know what else is going to happen in this sim week. She's going to pass, she's going to kick the bucket. All right, folks, the inevitable has finally happened. Jan Tellerman is finally kicking the bucket. She lived a good life. She actually boohooed 20 sims, and that's how she fulfilled her lifetime aspiration and got it all the way top. She was, like, glowing white her whole life. Um, so, uh, you know, she was a little bit of a thotty, but that's okay. You lived a good life. You enjoyed your life. Bye-bye, Jan Tellerman. It was a pleasure <laughs> playing you. Oh, okay. This must not be all of it, because I was going to say, I'm pretty sure someone's supposed to get 20,000, and I only see 1,000 um, uh, in this, but I'm pretty sure... Um, there's going to be more. So uh, let's move her grave to the cemetery where she belongs. Okay. And um, that is, please don't bug my game. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's basically it. She's gone. Okay, we just got all our money. Oh, no, no one got 20,000 because none of them are family members. They're all her friends. That would be why. None of, she's not actually related to anyone in this neighborhood. Um, she never had kids. So they were just her friends, like they, they were buddies and they lived with her. Uh, she was basically like the adopted grandma of this house. Um, so that's basically it. Nothing else interesting is going to happen besides most likely Stella becoming an elder. So um, let me just catch you in the next house. All right, folks, we literally just got into this family um, and Melissa Fancy is dying. So who are these people? Melissa Fancy used to be... Jan Tellerman's roommate before Jan Tellerman ended up being the adopted grandma of the family we were playing before. Now, there was something that happened. There were three roommates. I think one of them, one of them, yeah, one of them was her, Marsha Bruneg. One of them was Melissa Fancy and the other one was Jan Tellerman. Now, they were all sleeping around because they all, except Melissa, she did not. But I think both Marsha and Jan both, both had the, um, the aspiration to woohoo 20 sims and they were like secretly woohooing the same sims like when one of them was in home and I think what happened if I remember correctly is Jan caught Marsha screwing a guy that she was screwing and you know doofing whatever and there was a big fight and the roommates split up and then Melissa ended up finding Toby oh no 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 Toby got Melissa pregnant 
Right. The other thing did happen where they got into an argument about the dude. But Melissa also ended up getting pregnant accidentally by Toby. So they decided, because she was trying, she was just woohooing people too, but she ended up getting a baby daddy. So she decided, you know what? I'm not going to do this life. I'm going to marry him. And he married her. And they made it work. And this little baby that was made was uh, Victoria Fancy. So Victoria um, is an adult now, and she is into Jonathan Ward. Now, Jonathan Ward is like the friend of the of Nicholas Ward, who is raising single-handedly his daughter. Um, so they're living together. They're like into each other, and I'm going to have them get married. But Melissa's going to die now. So here's the thing. They've got somehow, I don't know how they did this, but they have 74000 in their funds. And Toby's not dying anytime soon. Melissa was way older than Toby. Um, so the thing is, this is only a two-bedroom house. So Toby's going to live in one bedroom. I have to redo this for Toby. They're going to sleep in another. They don't really have any room for a baby. So as much as I love the way I did this apartment, as much as I love it, I think they're going to have to move out and find a bigger house so that they can procreate. <laughs> Unless, you know, I have them only have like one kid or something and the kid can have his like bedroom out here. But that's not nice. I don't want to keep the kid in the hallway. Um, I can also like repurpose the garage as like a little, like if I move the car out and add a door. Oh, there is a door. We can like make this like a little place for the dad to stay in. And they can have one bedroom for their baby. That can also work. I really like this house. I really don't want to redo it, honestly. Yeah, so let's just watch her die, I suppose. Okay, well, she was a happy lady. She lived a good life. Okay. Happy, happy lady. She lived a good life. Bye, Lilsa. It was nice playing you for as long as we did. It was nice. It was nice. All right, so she was a same we input as an adult, so she did not manage to reach the top, like, like she didn't manage to make her bar here full. So, but um, there is an exception that I made for Sims that I put into this neighborhood when they're adults. But she was really close, though. She was like maybe like one smidgen away from filling it, so don't worry about it. We're gonna move this grave to the cemetery. All right, um, so that's basically it. I'm going to, um, I'm going to see if I can get them married. I don't think I'm gonna do a wedding. I'm just going to marry them off, I think. So he actually doesn't have the word last name. Um, that is technically his roommate's last name. Um, that is his last name, but he ended up just with the last name. They're not family members or anything. So I'm going to have him take her last name and just call it a day. Um, let's get him out of the tub and then just get them married. I'm going to have her. I'm going to have him take her last name just to kind of fix things a little bit. Okay. It's a little funny having her propose to him, but it's okay. <clears throat> All right, they're in love. Let's get married, okay? And then now uh, he should have her last name. Yes. All right, so that's all settled. Um, I don't know, should they start baby making? I need to think about whether I'm going to build them a house. Like, maybe I should just, like, try and see if I can get my creative juices flowing. Like, maybe I can build a house. All right, guys, so I ended up building them a house in the commercial district, in the city district. Um, it's like this little kind of brownstone. It's not my greatest, the greatest thing I've ever built, but, you know, it's not the worst thing I've ever built either. It's a little bit boxy, but that's okay. Um, I like the way I furnished it. Now, my furnish, my furnishing skills are a little limited because I have a limited amount of custom content. So I, I end up kind of using the same furniture again and again in my builds, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I just finished classes. So if I look like I'm dying, it's like 630 in the morning. I just finished teaching. Um, and I'm waiting for my daughter to wake up. So this is the house. Um, uh, it's kind of like open kitchen, dining room, uh, extra room here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Living room and upstairs there's room for four bedrooms. So Grandpa lives up here, the parents live over here, and there's room for baby rooms and kids' rooms and stuff like that. So she just gave birth to a child. It's a baby boy. So Victoria Fancy just gave birth to a baby boy. Let's name this kid. Um, we're going to name this kid. Uh, I don't know what we're going to name this kid now. Mm, we could go for...
We can go for Tristan. Tristan. Just because I've been watching a lot of Kardashians lately. <laughs> okay, we'll just go for Tristan. I don't have a Tristan in this uh, neighborhood yet. So we've got Tristan, uh, Fancy. That's fine. Um, so that's that's basically it. I don't think anything else interesting is going to be happening in this game, in this, in this episode. Um, we're just going to raise this child. It'll go... It'll grow into a toddler, and that's basically it, pretty sure. So I think I am going to end this episode here. I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care, and bye-bye.